Winter's upon us, and not only has our style of dress changed to accommodate the colder months, but also the style of food we might indulge in, and of course, some of the wines we might enjoy. So, hi Gerard. Hello Georgina. What's the perfect wine for a sort of lazy family afternoon? Okay, so for this occasion, I would choose a wine which I would call authentic and natural, and maybe I would take you to the Rhone, beautiful region, the southern Rhone, the village of Rasto, we make some wonderful red wine made with a Grenache, smell of black olive, slightly spicy, perfect to go with. A dish I'm sure you love making is cauliflower cheese. Or if you prefer pasta, in that case, maybe we go for the Loire and we go for a Vouvray. Vouvray produce some delicious white wine, either dry or off dry, made with a chenin, the smell of queens, apple, can be quite smooth and they are just wonderful with pasta. Now, what about if we've got friends coming over in the evening? So nothing too fancy, just an informal supper. So what's best for a relaxed evening like that? Well, in that case, let's go for wine, which I would call cool and laid back. Maybe a wine from, say, the Languedoc-Roussillon, beautiful area in the south of France. They produce some all sorts of wine, but in particular, some wonderful red wine, usually blend of grapes. So something like maybe a Corbière, and Corbière is middle weight, not too heavy, but uh, ideal for perhaps a, a beef stew, if you like mm, that type yes, of dish. Yeah. Or if you have uh, friends who are vegetarian, you might, you might have preferred a tagine. And in that case, I'll probably go for the new category of French wine, Vin de France. And I would choose a varietal like a Merlot. Everybody likes Merlot. It's soft, quite smooth, not too heavy. Beautiful with uh, the tagine. So what about when we're not so much relaxing, but more getting the glad rags on, maybe having a party or going to a party? Are there any wines that are good for a winter party and maybe for, for the different tastes of some of the people there? Uh, yes. I mean, maybe this time we change uh, style of wine, maybe more fun-loving, quirky. And I would go for a wine from Alsace. Alsace is not always a very understood uh, area in France. They produce stunning wine. You could choose a Riesling. Riesling is really a, a wonderful white grape. So the wine there, you would have a wine with quite citrusy, lemony, a bit um, floral. I mean, just beautiful. And with that, I would say maybe something like, well, if you like curry, for instance, it would be perfect. The white wine's got enough character in the Riesling to match the curry. So a great um, combination or if you wanted to have maybe a more informal type of food, like canapé, we could go for a wine, a sparkling wine. I would go for a crément. Mm -hmm. France produce some stunning crément, crément de Loire, d'Alsace, Bourgogne, D, and so on. And let's say, these wines are very elegant, They're quite creamy, lovely bubble. They are made with a lot of care. They are unpicked grape, just beautiful. And finally, of course, we come to Christmas Day. So what should we be serving? Can we start with champagne? And, and what wine would sort of perfectly complement Christmas well, Day dinner? Christmas Day, we need to go for something really glamorous and chic. And you said it, champagne, the king of sparkling wine, and something magic, perfect with, say, the salmon and blinis. Mm. And then I think we, we are going to have a rose for Christmas, aren't we? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so in that case, maybe maybe a goose, uh, some turkey, if you want to be very traditional. And in that case, I would go for something maybe from Burgundy, uh, something like uh, Pouligny Montrachet, for instance, something uh, very nutty, creamy. Or if you wanted to have some beef, some people like roast beef on uh, Christmas Day, in that case, I would go for Bordeaux, maybe a Pomerol. Pomerol is a very elegant red wine, um, beautiful, velvety, very perfume, smell of truffle with a bit of bottle age. So a great red wine to go with our beef and for this uh, amazing day. Well, my thanks to Gérard Basset, and there you have it. I think we've learned that there's the perfect style of French wine for every winter occasion. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.